Hey guys, Ike here from IkeSetdoors.com. Today we're testing out the uh, fire starter fuel cells. This is a quick start fire starter fuel cells. This is from LCLHunting.com. Um, LCLHuntingShop.com is their website. We tested out their blood finder agent uh, not too long ago. And this is, a, this is a nice easy way of starting a fire. So what I've got here is I've got one out here and we're gonna we're gonna start try to start a fire with it. I've got stuff that's out of my um, out of my pack that I keep in there just for survival situations. And you'll see this here it's just not wrapped up in tin foil and it's just a uh, kind of a gel like little uh, oh, little disc. And what you're gonna need to do to start this is take a you can take a, a knife or a stick or whatever whatever you got handy and you'll start peeling away at the top there and you can see there's all these little fibers that are going to start coming up and what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a match to those fibers and then this thing is going to burn and it's going to burn for quite a while let's see here how long it's going to burn it's going to burn to 10 to 15 minutes so it's going to be a ample time to get you a fire started so i'm going to rough this up here and then i've got like i said i've got my waterproof uh, matches and my uh, match safe that i've got out of my kit and I'm going to keep some of these in my kit as well. And I've got a little fire here that we've got, we're going to get set up. I'll explain how, you, how I got my fire set up in just a second. And we're going to try this thing out and see how well it works. i got uh, two pieces of wood that I split some time ago. And I've got them, actually everything for my fire uh, built on top of those. So I can slide this right underneath there. And what I've got is I've taken some of this bark underneath. And this is... Uh, this is from a, a tree that I've got in my backyard. I believe it's a pecan tree, and you can see it's wet, but I've taken some dry stuff. And uh, you can actually pull this off, and it forms into these nice little fibers. So I've got a bunch of those fibers underneath there, and a bunch of uh, wood chips and stuff like that that I got off of there. And I've got them underneath, and then I've got just a TP of small, small twigs on top of that. Now, if we were in a survival situation, I'd have a whole bunch of campfire uh, wood ready to go that I could just start piling on top of this as my fire got going. But right now, we're just trying to see if we can get a fire started. We're not really um, after the full-blown full blown campfire. So let's see how well we've got this, how easy this thing is to get started here. Now, I'm just using a, a waterproof match. Nothing special about this match. You can also do this with a lighter, flint and steel. Now, flint and steel, you might want a few more fibers uh, poked up there. But flint and steel, I'm sure T-Mac, he's our traditional guy. He'll probably do it with flint and steel. He's a little better with flint and steel than I am. I carry a match safe full of matches. So if I get out there, I'm usually, uh, I've usually got these. So we're going to try this out here if I can keep my match lit today. There we go. We got a little fire started in there. Okay, you can see there we got a little flame started. Let's tilt that around and try to get it. There we go. Now it's spreading out nice. And we'll just put that, slide that right under there. And you can see the the bark that I've got under there it's stripped is starting to uh, it, it catches real easy. So we've got a nice little uh, uh, nice little fuel source there and a nice uh, nice dry tinder to, to catch fire pretty easy. So I might take and poke it under there just a little bit further. Now that we got it going good. Okay, so got it under there pretty good. Still burning nice. Now some of this stuff is a little bit wet. We uh, we just had a tornado go through uh, not too long ago, and we've got all kinds of rain in the past couple days. So we're just gonna let that go and see how well this how well this thing works.
I can see the quick starter under there and you can see it's still still got quite a bit of fuel left to burn down so this thing's gonna last for quite a while like I said everything I've got in there is pretty wet from all the rain we've got recently so it's taking a little bit to ignite but this thing's lasting so long that we've got a pretty good pretty good fire going considering how wet it is the backside over here it's got some pretty good flames looking up to my uh, smaller twigs I got up there on top. I'm not one of those hardcore survival guys who uh, will go out there with a knife and a stick or something like Les Stroud and, and expect me to survive. I'm going to take a full pack full of stuff that's going to give me any advantage that I can get. And uh, this is an, an excellent advantage. Fire starting is an ultimate way uh, of staying alive. You can get signal fires with this. You can get warmth with this. You know, you can cook your meat with this. Uh, keeps predators away. There's all kinds of good advantages to having fire, let alone the uh, psychological aspect of having a fire. It makes you feel safe, you know, makes you feel warm, makes you feel like you're accomplishing something, and it gives you overall a better chance of survival. Okay, so you can see here, a nice little fire started. <clears throat> like I said, if we were out in a survival situation or a camping situation even, uh, we have some bigger tinder, some bigger wood over here, we can start piling on top of that. So we've got a nice fire started there, and you can see right down here is our uh, quick start, and it's still burning very nice, still burning very good. We're about seven to eight minutes into this video, and that thing's still burning. You still see fuel on the bottom of it. So even though most of this wood that I had on here, most of this tinder that I had was wet, uh, it still started it. It maintained that, that fire long enough to get that stuff dried out and to get my fire started. So excellent, excellent stuff. And I like about it is, uh, got one over here I stepped on. They're nice and small, you know, they're wrapped up in tin foil, which is good. They're nice and small, even this, uh, this entire container of them, which has got five quick starts in there, is it, nice and small. I can throw this right in my hunting pack. And with, between that and my, uh, my lighter set, or my match safe, I've got that much room. And that's all it takes for me to keep uh, all my fire starting equipment right there in, in easy reach, not taking up a lot of room, doesn't weigh nothing. Okay, so this is the quick start. Uh, this is the fire starter fuel cell. This is from LCL Hunting. Their website is lclhuntingshop.com. We'll put that right here at the bottom for you. These are waterproof. Like I said they'll burn for 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Nice, compact, uh, easy to carry. I stepped on both of those when I was making my fire, but uh, they'll still be plenty of good use. You can light this with a lighter, you can light this with a match, you can light this with flint and steel. Uh, you do All you gotta do is expose more of those fibers. I found that uh, instead of just scraping the top, I actually kind of dug down in there to get a few more of those fibers up. So that, that seemed to work out best for me. And you can see, nice easy little fire we've got going here. The fuel cell underneath is still burning pretty good. Uh, still got flames coming out of it, so uh, very good product, very easy. Uh, fire starter for you guys who are like me uh, not going to be out there with a piece of flint and steel and, uh, and and roughing it with just your knife in your pocket uh, for some guys that may be great for me I want all the advantages I can get and I think this quick start is definitely definitely going to give you a good advantage in that type of situation good for not only survival you know throw in your survival pack throw in your hunting pack because you never know when you're going to get lost you never know when you're going to need a, a fire out there in the woods uh, throw it in your hunting pack, carry them with you all the time. Throw it in your camping gear. Yeah, keep one of these in your truck. You know, you may get your truck stuck, you may end up spending a night in the woods. So, very small, very lightweight, and that's what I like about it. Very effective as well. So, easy way to start a fire. This is a quick start. Uh, fire starter fuel cell from LCL Hunting. Put their website right here for you once again, and you can check this out. So, uh, pretty cool product. And you can check out our product. I know T-Max is doing a review on this. Hopefully, he's got it up before I get mine up. And uh, hopefully he'll use some flint and steel to uh, to start his fire. So uh, that's it. The fire cell is still actually burning underneath there. So you can check out more videos from us. Check out T-Max video at IkesOutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching. I like good times, good wine, good smoke, and a five-piece bed. And ooh, oh, I can't hear.